Minecraft. Guys, it's so nice to see you. Hope you're all feeling fantastic today. I know that I am. I'm so happy to be playing this pack again. So, first off, yeah, I'm inside the uh, big mansion we built. I've been testing out some of the, the new textures that I wanted to introduce, kind of like loosen it up a little bit. I haven't worked too much on this room, but I have been switching out some things. Let's go outside. We're going to take a look at it real quick. And you guys can tell me what you think in the comments on YouTube or in chat here right now, whichever you prefer. What do you think? So I haven't, I haven't finished yet. Um, I do want to get the uh, spruce completely switched out, but I traded in the birch wood for some fir wood. That's a thing from the pack that I'm playing in. And I think that it looks a little bit more dead um, and sort of like old. And that's, that's the feeling I'm going for. I traded out all of the normal cobblestone for the mossy stuff. I'm going to put some vines around. I just haven't decided where yet or how much of it I want to spam. So um, I also traded in, like, I left the cracked bricks, but any of the normal stone bricks I traded out for the mossy, the mossy variant. A variant. Yes. Yes. And I put in the living wood. Now, this actually kind of runs counterpoint to what I was saying, right? Like, old, dead looking, because this, this looks very alive. It's got a lot of ridges to it, does this wood. I mean, like, it really looks like uh, it's got some strong texture. And, of course, the color, the red, is very vibrant. The red-brown, very vibrant. Um, but I figure that that's, that's part of the magic of the forest, right? It's kind of helping that along since it's touching the ground. Maybe it started to feed nutrients to it. Um, so that's why I went with that. And then this, the cherry wood here, like I looked at all of the different red options that were available to replace the, uh, stripped spruce that was there originally. And between these three different types of wood, obviously the acacia, the, uh, redwood, and then the cherry wood, I felt the cherry wood looked the most faded. The other two look a little bit more red, a little bit more vibrant. This one's got like a lot of texture in it. Um, the lines are a little bit more bold in it. This one looks kind of faded and dead, and since stripped, like, this is obviously not getting touched. I figured that this could equate to a stripped variant of this wood, um, because the, the living wood logs, they don't have a stripped variant currently. Um, so yeah, that's why I went with that, just to kind of, kind of tie those two reds together. But yeah, so this is, it's a work in progress. I'm, I'm not really confident enough... Um, with it that I would say that it's done. There's still some stuff I need to play with on it But I mean, yeah, what do you guys think? It's looking it's looking a little bit more worn at the very least, right? It's coming together. Yeah, I'm liking it. The lime grass I, I might need to change out that lime glass for just the normal green glass. What I what I want that to represent is sort of like Algae on glass and unfortunately there's no like mossy glass in this pack or anything like that So I went with the lime, but it does it's very bright Especially against like all of these very dull colors that I've got wrapping around it So I might need to trade that out for normal green, but first project of today And this one's mostly done right I was kind of working on this in the background and I just hadn't got around to it is uh, I want to see if our little pets you might remember we took a trip to the uh, underdark last time I got two of those skulks here, and I want to see if they can survive in the overworld so we're about to try to let them out and see how that goes, but I don't want them to run away. And so I've made two of these anchor plates from Dark Utilities. These trap mobs and force them to look specified direction. You can read the description right there, right? Um, so I'm hoping that if I lay these down, then they'll just be kind of forced to look that way. Um, hmm, which way is it, I wonder? See, that would kind of make sense because then the anchor is forced in this way. Oh, see? Look at that. It did it to me, too. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so it definitely forces them to look towards the bed, which was kind of what I was looking for. Um, oh, yeah, also, <laughs> I kind of forgot to mention this in the beginning. How did I get out of the Underdark, you may wonder? Uh, I waited. Like, five more minutes, and then it was nighttime in the overworld, and then I could just leave out the portal just like I did. So let's, uh... Huh? Oh, they're so cute! They are so cute. Ha. Huh. I love that they disappear. But so these these guys, of course, we need names for them, right? 
So um, let's go get a couple of levels out of our uh, experience holder device. Oh, it's also night. I may need to sleep. So let's grab like eight, whatever. I think we only need two, but whatevs. We're not doing bad on the experience front. Because everything I do, I keep on just throwing it in there. So I never ever, like, I don't die with levels on me if I do die, which I don't die very often. But yeah, so let's put a name to this tag. We're going to go real old school here. And we're going to name one of them Kodo. And we're going to name the other one Podo. And, huh, okay. So they should be named now. Yep, you know, if we, what do we have to, there we go. Kodo, Kodo, yep. So now they shouldn't despawn, they should just be there forever. And then we are going to, let's see. We're gonna take another trip. So there's a different place that I wanna go to. Because I want to go to the end. Real bad. I'm going to go ahead and get that back. No, not that. This. And I've got a couple of things here prepared. Um, so the first thing is this, right? <clears throat> this looks weird. This is another prefab structure. It's an ender gateway. So what this does is it forms a structure in your overworld that has an end portal embedded inside of it now you still have to provide the A's of ender so i will still need the like six sixteen no three 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 twelve is it twelve i think twelve twelve eyes of ender so we're going to need some ender pearls let's get out some of those let's get out some blaze monster drops i just put in this thing i don't feel bad about that at all i'm surprised that it's letting me do this like i can really one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. And I did it too fast and wasn't counting. There we go. Okay. And then I'll just keep these extra ones on me in case I need them, right? And then where to put this? Because it doesn't... It's not the prettiest structure, unfortunately. But I kind of want to put it up somewhere high. And I just don't have anything like that here other than the house, which is definitely not where I want it to be. I kind of want to do sort of a big hill thing, but I don't have a big hill thing. So you know what? Let's do it over here. Our villager area is obviously like in like just loaded with potential, right? We still need to do more with this now that I'm looking at it. Now I don't want to put it here either. Alright, so you know what? underground it goes and if I want to do a bigger one a better one somewhere else I can I can just make this structure again in fact can I can you copy the prefabs do they have an EMC value they do oh, ho, ho. now I can make another one of these as I wish so let's just go underground this will be the easiest thing and it doesn't I mean the only reason I say that is because it does not look that great I don't really like, of all the structures that I have seen come out of this guy, whoever did this mod, or this chick, I mean, I don't know. I don't know who did it. This person who has made this mod, the uh, the textures on this one, or the look of this one, is not as good as some of the other ones. So let's just make a little space, and then see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, I just kind of want it back a little bit. So, yeah, that's what it looks like, right? And it's supposed to represent the... Uh, the dragon egg the um, that you get at the end after you kill the dragon. But, I don't know, doesn't really look like a dragon egg to me. But, I don't think I could do better either, so. <laughs> no, Otter, I did not build that house. I wish I was that good. Now, I have a mod in here called Prefab that lets me do stuff. I'm changing the texture on it. Like, I, I've been placing several of the blocks, but I didn't build it wholesale by myself. So yeah, let's, let's click build here. 
It'll clear a bunch of space and then it'll place the structure. And then up there is the gateway, unfortunately. So we're gonna need to, uh, to get up there and that's going to be not quite a difficult task either. So if I just kind of fill, it put grass down even, that's so weird. Okay, so there we go. And then I do need to grab, like so that I can get the, uh, the egg after we defeat the dragon, there is one other thing that I need to grab from upstairs. And I'm sad that I didn't grab it already. But I need that classic. <laughs> of all the things that modded Minecraft is capable of, you still have to use the vanilla ways to do some things. And getting the dragon egg is one of them where I really feel like you just have to go the old school vanilla way. That being piston and a lever. Boop. Boop. Take these with us. <laughs> All right. Now let's head down and we will try to get into this bad boy. And I'm gonna show you another one of the tools that I made. Oh, I need to get some elevators installed there. Okay, so. Pull this out. This is called a climbing glove. Can you guess what it does? If you guess climb things, you're right. So that block there that you just saw, that phasic block, if you're a player and you right click on it, it'll open. But you can't shift right click, which is what I'm having to do to hold on. And then this here, this is another block that was added by the mod. It's just invisible, like totally invisible blocks so that you can't, uh, you can see the stuff that's underneath it. So this does look very end, right? Like this is very ender in here. This is amazing. So let's put in these eyes. Oh, and just like that, we've got our own Ender Portal. All right, so let's put some stuff. I mean, really, I just, I don't need that, but anything else I would need, right? Got my arrows, got my crossbow, got my sword. All right, so let's, um, let's go. Just like always, we're in a big box. Make some very basic stairs to the surface. All right. And then just be very careful not to stare at any of the Endermen too hard, but there's the dragon. So let us remove its ability to heal. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, you know what I didn't grab though? any glass bottles. Alright. <laughs> Thus you can see why I needed the climbing gloves. Oh, that one was so close. stop that'd be great <laughs> all right let me slide back down I think that if I I'm pretty sure holding shift there will actually make me descend a little bit like I think I have to pick myself up so that I don't just fall and get hit like that. Ooh, take that and dragon I don't want 
to take the point blank damage of this one blowing up, so I'm gonna go to a different platform. Not, not in that stuff, I'm not. Yeah, just some light damage, that's not bad. Hmm? And of course, two of those have got the uh, cages around them, so I'll need to... Uh-huh. I'll need to destroy those cages. Got me there. All right, let's go get some cages. <laughs> Don't look at me, Enderman. I am but a humble, a humble traveler. Come to these realms to seek my fortune amongst the Ender folk. Definitely not to kill your beloved dragon. Although, honestly, the dragon and the Enderman will fight each other, so I don't know how beloved the Ender Dragon is. Here. Okay, and then if I just... That platform would be fine. That was a lot of fall damage that I took without meaning to. Okay. Now it's just you and me, dragon. Let me get on the ground so that way he doesn't just... Or she doesn't? I honestly don't know. Is the Ender Dragon male or female? Or... Genderless? I guess. I don't know. I've never really looked into the lore of the Ender Dragon, if there is lore that exists for the Ender Dragon. down a bit. You don't have to stay up super high. I would assume that since there's an egg, the ender dragon falls in the female line of dragons, but that's that's literally my whole line of thinking. I got left 20. I probably should have brought more with me since I'm not going to be able to recover like any of them. But oh well, if I have to wait for the Ender Dragon to land, then I have to wait for the Ender Dragon to land. It's not that big a deal. Although it would be nice if they did land already. What's strange is that always by the time that I get here, I'm never, I'm never at the point where I really feel like I'm in danger. In, I guess in vanilla, it's like somewhat, it's still dangerous regardless, even if you've got end game stuff, to some extent, because like, you know, killing the crystals is obviously a little bit more difficult than it was for me, just being able to climb up the towers and get there. But come on. Are you cycling down? You look like you're cycling down. Flipped me right out, didn't she? Oh well, at least getting our stuff back won't be that difficult. But hey, while I'm here, 
Let's take this opportunity to get some bottles. That I totally forgot to bring with me. And what else? More arrows? I did make some arrows. There we go. Yeah, we'll take those with us too. Whew! I'm right back in. I have no feather falling enchant on my boots because I haven't have it had the opportunity. Oh no. I actually can't get up there. <laughs> I didn't think about that part. Um okay, so I need some blocks or something. I can pull some dirt out. Fastest I've ever beaten the end dragon. I don't know. I, I don't want to claim any kind of speed records, but... I mean, like, it, in in previous packs where it's been modded, usually I have the ability to fly at this point that I'm trying to go here. So that does make it a good deal more uh, easy. So, I don't know. If you can just literally follow the Ender Dragon around and uh, swipe at it with a sword, it does... Swords are obviously stronger than ranged weapons, so you can kill it pretty quickly. I just don't know if I could I could actually put a time to it. I mean, like, maybe a minute? Maybe two minutes? I mean, it's not... It becomes, like, less, less hard the more... The later in the game you do it, and also the more mods there are installed. Uh, there we go. I'm back. Take that off of my bar. So it doesn't interfere with any of the equipment that I'm going to try to get back here. I just have to thank Dark Souls for my ability to take a death and not worry about it at all. Because I don't worry about it at all. Flight does make a big difference, that is for sure. Five man, I don't want to get flipped again. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's what I didn't want to happen. Headshot. No scope. I'd really like you to come down or shoot another fireball at me. That would also be great. There you go. You also get the Ender air bottles from Batania, so you have to be careful about where you're clicking. Because if you touch a block, you'll get the uh, Ender air for Batania. Ooh, but now I got that Dragon's Breath. So I guess, yeah, I'll just I'll blow the rest on Ender air. Then come on to the center, thereabouts, and long range. Come on, come towards me, you stupid dragon. Come on. She knows. She knows that she's on her last leg, and we will be killing her immediately. How did that not hit? 
The Ender Dragon's hitbox is huge. I don't know if neither of those hit. That will work. So now we have our gateway back, and we should have our gateway to the outer end somewhere. Oh, did I look at you? My bad, bro. Uh-huh. 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 Do you think these drop anything? Like, I'm curious. They drop... Ender slime. Maybe they dropped that fragment. Hmm. Ender slime ball, a crafting material that can be turned into normal slime balls. I wonder what other uses it has. All right, but let's get this dragon egg and put up this other stuff that we got. So in our normal backpack, we'll go ahead and store those arrows. Cause I upgraded it. I've got a good amount of space now. And then in our dank, no, we'll put that. We'll also go ahead and put that in stone. And then the rest we'll just put in here, I guess. So that we've got this fantastic amount of resources available to us. And we'll go ahead and put up our climbing glove, because we won't need that right now. Oh. You dare approach me. Learn your place, slime! And then we'll use some stones here. So, hmm, hmm. And then, I guess I need a little bit of a raise here. And, what did I do with the piston? Oh, there it is. And a lever. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. There we go. All right. And then we'll put this back up in our bag. All right, so now that I've got access to the end, and also this fantastic Ender Dragon Egg, let's go look around. Because boy, oh boy, do I want to get myself an Elytra. That is really what I want. I'm telling you what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> the music here is very, has a, has a vibe to it. Do you guys hear that? That kind of reverb? I'm also interested in getting some of the silence gems gems from here. Because the ones in the end are different than the ones in the overworld and in the nether. So I'm just going to kind of collect everything up that I see. Let's go grab this too. Ooh. Compact Ender Essence Ore? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'll have all that. Thank you. The compact ores, for whatever reason, are immune to Vein Miner. I don't know why, but they are. If it's the first one that you're touching on, then you can Vein Mine all the normal ones, but still all the compact ones it will not grab. Okay, so where's that? Where's that gate? Ooh. Also, yellow stuff that I missed. I don't know. Uh, so they're different. they're different materials. They have different parts. Um, but they also have different um, modifiers. So if you're familiar with Tinker's Tools, you can use the End Silence gems uh, to uh, craft different parts just like you could in Tinker's Tools. And so you'll get different modifiers of it so you can make like some cool stuff by just trying it out and seeing what you can do. It, I'm still experimenting with the mod. So I actually, this is my first time coming to the end with it. So I don't know exactly what all the modifiers are capable of because I haven't I haven't had the chance to experiment with it yet. But now I can. I can figure all of that out. And then give me that end stone that I just put in there. And I'll put this normal stone up. So that way we're, we're sticking with this end theme, right? 
Let's get up there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go for it. There we go. There we go. Ooh, some insat kyanite. It looked like sapphire, but it is not. I gotta store all this for now, so I guess I'll start putting it in here and hopefully I have enough room for that for a while. I also need to kill a wither. I really do need to kill a wither. Because another star is another thing that I need to have. For various reasons that will be explained at later dates. Let's make ourselves a gate a point so I know where this is. Gate out. Okay. And then we will continue our journey in search of an in city. Get out of here, slime! You are not charming or cunning. Ooh, some more of that stuff. I do. I will find a use for this, or I will. Uh, <laughs> at least I will find out what its use is. I don't know if I specifically will have a use for it, but I will figure out what its uses are. Okay. So what do you say? What What would be our next direction? Do we go north, south, east, or west? To find our new city. East has this big island, so it makes me think east. I'm thinking east would be our best bet. Let's go east. Just pillaring across the void. It's no big deal. <laughs> uh, it's it's always a little nerve-wracking to do that just a little bit, but it always is mm -hmm. Like a mess with these slimes if I don't have to <laughs> uh, I'll go south next time Cruz you don't have to feel like you picked the wrong thing <laughs> Let's get some Chorus fruit. And these low hanging chorus we're gonna silk touch so that we can have the flowers. So I might be able to like in some packs you can actually like use the flowers to grow more of it, get more. Or I guess you that's even a vanilla mechanic, what am I saying? So I need to get a couple of those. I don't know what these are used for, but I like the color of this stone. So I'm I'm gonna mine it. I'm gonna mine all of it. continue our journey. I'm going to start skipping over. I don't want to just mine the whole time. I want to find the city. I want an elytra bad. Real bad. So let's see, what other, what other things have I been working on? I've been messing around with some of the prefab stuff in a test world, just to see what all the different buildings look like. Because um, I wanted to see if I could use any of the others and there are definitely other ones. I think I can use I really for the most part the prefab style. I really like it actually like I think that the person that created it is very talented The only one that I don't like is that end egg. It looks it looks real bad But all the other ones that they've done is fantastic So I've been messing with those. I, I've been doing some testing on the silent gems, uh, the crystals and stuff that are available for it, which is what led me to making this pickaxe and the other tools that we made last time. Because I did some testing and 
after looking at the different values of things that were available, these seemed like, like, Crimson Steel is, I don't think it's the best in any individual category, but like its overall stats and the stuff that it gives you is actually pretty decent. Like, very end game, I'd love to see some, like, pearl armor, because apparently pearl is really good. I was looking at its stats, statistics, and it is amazing. So I want to get some pearls and see what the armor looks like for that. But I also just like the red armor looks kind of cool. Sort of dashing. In a way. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm out of room in my dank knoll. Do I have anything that I can take out of it that's just like... There's only like 10 of that and 11 of that. I can put this in my general backpack. I'm going to want to be able to store stuff on the go while I'm here in the end. So let's see, what else can I take out? A lot of these overworld ores I just have very little of because I didn't, uh, I haven't done much mining with them. Because I did a lot of mining in the overworld, so I didn't need to do very much after I got these tools. But there we go. Okay, so that gives me all the ones that I've found so far I've been able to put away. And let's also store these iron bars. Because I don't need to hold those in my hand. There we go. Let's head over to this island. And I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some more of that instone. I guess I should maybe I should vein a few things here. Let's get a big hunk of this instone. I'm gonna take it out of this hill. Oh, and I need to eat. I need to eat. Okay. Mm hmm Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't tempt me with more crystals. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so how much did that give me? Like 680-something? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good now. I can pillar everywhere. Sip of coffee. I don't know how I feel about the fact that these roses spawn everywhere. Because I, I don't think that these are different ones than what spawn in the overworld. I still think there's only like 16 of them. And they spawn everywhere. Okay. Time to test the strength of that pinky finger. <laughs> Gosh, I hope not. Like, the islands are pretty... They, they go vertical a lot. So, it'd be sort of difficult for me. I'm going to go ahead and put a block there like I went there, even though I didn't. I'm also continually astounded how I do that every now and then. Like, I actually, I put a block below me. I don't even know how I would be able to do that. Maybe there's a mod installed that makes that happen. Because I'm pretty sure... I don't think that's a vanilla thing. Unless they have recently changed how block placement works in vanilla Minecraft, and I don't know it. I didn't say thick. I said they go vertical a lot. It's way better because, um, shut up. <laughs> Come on, give me an end city, guys. Come on. Again, another place where flight would make all the difference. So I wouldn't have to pill everybody. I'd be moving faster. I'm really not used to taking my time in the end. You know what? Also, it occurs to me, why am I doing this the old-fashioned way when I have a mod that does this for me? Stone brick brick. Can I do it out of instone? Is instone available? No. Well, normal stone it is. So, bridge length... Uh, 50? Maybe that's about a 50? Interior height 3 preview. Well, I think 50 is too much. What do you guys think? Did I, did I ever show this? I'm not even sure if I did. That this is a thing that's available. Preview. Does that make it all the way over there? I think it does, and I think it just barely makes it all the way over there. So let's build. Yeah, this is another one of those prefabs. 
that is just available, and this one lets you build a bridge. And when you build the uh, when you build the thing, it has like ten uses, I think. That, like I said, the prefab, the prefab, fob, the prefab mod is actually really amazing. I I like it. I'm glad that it's in this pack. And that I'm getting to play with it. And this is the first time that I'm getting to play with it. I've never had it in a pack before. I have to imagine that it's something that's either been worked on for a while or it's like kind of new in this version. Like it wasn't released in a previous version. The one thing that would make me happy about these bridges is if they could go diagonal, but they can't. They can only go straight forward. So let's go, I guess, over to that one. And, huh. That one's a little bit further, right? I mean, I could also just set it to the maximum setting and then let it go. Like, honestly, there's no reason for me not to. It's not like the other settings use less of it. Heh, <laughs> you got trapped. <laughs> Looks like these two islands are connected, so I can go over there. Or if they're not connected, they are very closely related, and I can just... Mm, but they are. <laughs> mm, so much of this stuff. Thank you. And I would also figure that Journey Map would be flashing up like... A lot more because I'm I keep on looking over at my mini map right so I can see where the uh, if there were any big light sources other than the little roses that are appearing and if I saw like a really big light source other than my bridges or the roses then I'd be like oh that's definitely an in city which speaking of this kind of looks like a lot of light sources over here although it might just be a lot of those roses What are you doing with your first nether star? I, so my first one, I will most likely be putting into making the biggest size backpack. Um, but after that, I mean, the sky's the limit. There's so many different uses for it. I mean, like modded adds a bunch of uses for it. <laughs> and I would say like a beacon so that I could get the, uh, the haste effect, but I don't, uh, I actually don't need to build a beacon because I found a wandering merchant that sold me one. Mm, going back south for that, I guess. Um, as far as the flowers, um, they are also part of one of the mods that I have installed um, that gives me access to a bunch of different materials for my, my uh, tools and armor and stuff. And the flowers are like... A, a light source that spawns naturally in the world and I there may be some way to extract the material because you can see how they say like coral glow rose there in the top of the screen and this one is a cat's eye glow rose so those are two of the different gems that you can find and so it makes me think that there might be some way for me to extract out like some dust or something that would get me a copy of that gem but I haven't really played with it enough to know for sure otherwise they're just pretty like I put some of them around the base that I uh, am using because I wanted to have that kind of natural light source and I totally did my colors right so of course I used the sapphire glow rose 100% oh, need to eat. can't run anymore need to eat Kill a few Endmen for my amusement. I don't even have to jump attack them. This sword that we made is really good. 
I also, I did enchant it up so that it has the, uh, the sharpness on it now too, so the damage is like almost, I think, 30 base. And that's before anything happens, like a, a jump critical or anything. Let's see. Here, I'm seeing just those platforms off this way. So I'm not thinking we might have to go back and go a different direction. Like maybe up here. So how far away is that from us again? Man, not terribly. What are you doing? Stop it. I really, I feel the same way, uh, Cruz. I think that it is very weird to have these flowers appear in the end. And they, I mean, they might, they might be different ones, but I don't think they are. No? Okay, classic, dark, no, maybe they are. Because they have the same set notifications that the uh, other ones do. And so it is actually possible that these are unique to the end. Pearl. See, yeah, pearls, pearls. Compact pearl ore. I do need to pick up the pearls if I see them. So now that I am 100% certain of what they look like, although those are apparently the first ones that I found, I need those. Those ones. So if you see these and I'm passing by them, please, please point them out to me. That is, I think that one will make the best armor available. Because it's got, the armor and toughness value on it are really high, and then also it has a set bonus. Like, you know how with the armor that we're wearing, right, we get fire resistance just on all the time? Its set bonus is, um, is resistance. Like, so we just won't take damage. And I think avoid knockback and some other things too. Like, it's really good. So, so we went back across that one. I guess we could explore the rest of this, and then we could try to head further up. So I don't think we went all the way up this way. But maybe we did. I guess we shall find out together. Ooh, narrow bridge. Stone are you, kyanite? I, I did get some of that earlier, I think, right? So I'll just go ahead and... The other thing about it is that there's like 16 gems per dimension, so there's a lot of stuff to look at if you're really trying to break into that mod and figure out how it works. Okay, so no, this is definitely the end of this island. Huh? 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 That was some of my worst performance ever. Can't hit all the time, I guess. Let's give me back that end stone. Actually, give me back my bridge. What am I doing? You'll actually attack me, so I have to kill you. Most of the things here I can just ignore. But apparently these things, they just really long for death. They want to feel the sweet release of my crimson steel machete. Can I... No, I can't. I just said that I can't do diagonals. Why am I looking at it like I might be able to? But over here, though, I don't think that it would reach far enough even on the max setting to get me over there. And I don't think I'm actually lined... I mean, I'm definitely lined up with part of it, but not... Build. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, I can build again. Preview? Does it just connect straight away? Oh yeah. Build. So you might notice also it's losing durability and then it's just gaining that durability back, which is how I'm able to build like multiples of them, like right away. And that's because I have, I made one of the, um, oh, what are they called? These repair talismans from Project E. They enable me to repair durability on my items. I'm just gonna take it from here. 
So that's why the uh, bridge repair thing is just repairing over and over again. What's up, Big Soda? Welcome to the stream, my friend. You missed us fighting the Ender Dragon. Not that you haven't done that before or anything. Hitboxes on Magma Cube type enemies are so weird. Like half the time you strike them, but they're not really there because they're like being stretchy. Okay. Continue. Pearl. Pearl. You saw some pearl. Where? White flowers appear near the ore? Ah, so over there maybe. Huh? This is Kyanite. And this is Ender Essence. And Amylite. Oh, well, I missed it. <laughs> okay. Let's keep on our search for an Ender City. Okay, just this pure, pure reward I can't... <laughs> Can't take the pure reverb. Let's find our boy Technoax and put on one of the playlists. Technoax making royalty free music. Let me go ahead and give him a free shout out. Please go and check out his channel if you want to hear some good quality music that is royalty free. <laughs> he actually has a playlist, Music to Minecraft, too. Well, of course, we're going to put that one. Turn it down. There we go. Okay, that'll give us a little bit more to listen to. Grab up our bridge and build. Yeah, it's possible I'm blind. It doesn't matter. I mean, like, eventually I'll be able to find more of it. So I'm not terribly worried. I'd like to get a lot of it, but it's not my most important thing at the moment. Huh? Huh, 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 huh. Huh, huh, huh. Let me out! There we go. So that's the danger of, I guess, bridging just the full max distance even when you don't need to, is that you'll bridge into an island, and then you'll have to come back out of it. Check the map here real quick. I'm still not not seeing anything pop out as far as the light is concerned. And of course the first density I find will absolutely not have a ship because that's the way this works. Mm -hmm. Built. Uh oh, a little bit of pause. Stutter! L -l 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 loading. Did I... Also, you can just build right off <laughs> the, the bridge without uh, thinking about it too terribly much. Soda light. Chrysoprase? Heck of a name. Fluorite. Fluorite is one that I need for sure, too. 
Hmm, I need to look out for that. The lightish, bluish, tealish one. So I think that makes one of the uh, tokens that I, I use frequently. Like, maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's looting? I think that makes looting. Dang, don't tell me I hit another dead end. Well, I mean, I didn't hit another dead end. <laughs> Bridge time! Hmm? Build. Let's see if we can find another island to get to. Other than those ones. Bridge time. More coffee. Oh, there's another island. There we go. There we go. One more bridge, and then we'll head sideways. And that should put us into that island. Okay, so apparently, Techno Axe feels about that you need to be chill while you're playing Minecraft, and that's not me. That is not me. So let's go ahead and put that back down. I need something with a little bit more substance to it. Do 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 How about He's got several playlists here. Some synthwave? I like synthwave. Let's do that one. There we go. That's got a little bit more of a beat to it. A little bit of an in-stone platform here. And then let's build that way. Also gotta pull Chet back up. Of course. There we go. Now we got our next island to explore. Let's see if we can find an in city on this one. Oh, you poor thing, you're suffering. Let me help you. We'll bridge over to this one and then go back across. Oh, we only need like a tiny bridge to get over there. Unfortunately, these bridges don't come in tiny. I think 25 is the min. There we go. Let's try to get some terrain revealed here. That's a big island over there. And it's connected to the other one, so that'll be a good place for us to search. Go back to that maximum length. I had to. I had to mercy kill it. It was it was clearly suffering. I definitely didn't just want its ender pearl. Least of which wise because there was no guarantee that it had one. Need some more end stone out of my tank null here. Okay, put that down and then. Hup, 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 hup. There we go. That gives us a solid platform to come out on. Oh, in city, finally. Yes. 
Have a boat. Please have a boat. I don't want to look until I get over there. I'm like keeping my head down. But I think this isn't... I don't think this one's going to have a boat. <laughs> but I really want it to have a boat. <sighs> okay. No, no boat. Dang it. Well, I mean, we can loot it, and it's going to have worthwhile stuff, but... It's not gonna have what I really wanted. So let's. Here we go, killing again. Okay, let's see if I can G this correctly. Yeah, thank you for the help. This is gonna make it way easier. There we go. Yeah, just hit me again. That'll make this that'll make this better. Come on. You have brought your own doom upon you, Shulka. You should have known that one such as I would only be helped by verticality. Ooh, what is that? Orb of Temporary Flight. Hmm. Orb of Temporary Flight, you say? So first off, okay, we gotta get some of this stuff out of our inventory. Let's take that and that out so that we can put some more of these ores in, as I may or may not be looting more of that. And then we will put all this stuff in here. Well, not that. That's what I'm going to put in there. I don't even know where I got carrots from. Blaze powder, torch. That there. Okay. What do you got? An enchanted scroll of preservation, diamond chest plate with curse of vanishing, lepidolite, sodalite, iron ore. I mean, there's not really any reason for me to not take the whole thing, right? And we can make a shulker box. We got two of them right here. I'll just need to harvest these chests or take two out of here. Okay. So let me pull up this. This is the recipe, right? Ha. Oh, your boy's so good. All right. So let's put all of this up higher. So that way this will all appear on the bottom. And then we can do the same thing with this stuff. Boom. And those beetroot seeds. We'll pick that up. And then we'll go ahead and take these as well. Because why not? It's free chests. It's free chest estate. And I do want these as well. The end rods. But I'm going to get them on my way down. Although I am now at the top, so I guess I am. This is down. This is down is where I go now. So let's get them... Mm -hmm. Get the top few here. And then just start making our way down. I mean, we can put on the climbing gloves and come back up, so I don't know what I'm really worried about here. I really just shouldn't be, is how that works. End rods are really cool light sources. Alright, so let's slowly make our way down this tower. Or not so slowly, as the case may be. You have failed to provide me with a boat, Enderman, so you will pay with your lives. Oh! Okay, so let's look here again. Center on us. I guess we head this way. Well, there's a big island over there that we still haven't fully explored, I suppose. 
I just got so excited seeing this tower that was nothing. It turned out to be nothing. But there is a lot of island for us to explore. Let's put it on day so we can see the whole thing. Yeah, so now you can see the shape of it, right? So if we see those lights, those kind of like rectangulars in that fashion, that's probably what we're looking for in terms of an in-city, right? Because all the other lights are just kind of randomly spaced, and they're going to be the um, the flowers that are growing. But if it's got that kind of dark space with those, then that would be an in-city. But I don't think that we've seen anything like that. There's no four set of lights that has like an empty space in between them. Because that, that's too little of an empty space. So yeah, I really don't think... We definitely haven't missed one, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And from there, it's just continuing to explore. So let's crack on with that. I hope the jerky motion isn't affecting anybody, but I gotta I gotta keep my head on a swivel here. Looking around for all the good stuff. Is this Pearl? This is Pearl. Hey, hello, thank you. Huh! 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 Yeah! I'm Link over here. There we go. Alright game, you can do it. You can give me another in-city very quickly. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait a really long time. You can just do it. It's okay. I give you my full permission to in-city me. Especially when I'm passing by other islands, I gotta look over at them to be like, oh, is that one got one? Uh, so, like, uh, the critical hit chance that you can pull off, uh, is increased by being in air. So if you jump before you attack, there's a chance. Like, you can hear it. So, like, sound effect here. Let them land and I'll hit them again. Hear that, that normal sound of being hit? Hear that sounding more... That little bit, like, stronger sound effect, that means that it's a crit. And you can almost force it to happen by jumping before you attack. Hard to tell on Endermen because they make that horrid sound when they die. Ooh, another portal. Let's make a, uh, a map marker here as well. So that might lead us somewhere interesting. I don't think it'll lead back to the main island. Man, and I really wish that... For some reason, Journey Map in this one, like, it skips the first letter whenever you're typing in a, a waypoint like that. Don't know. No, that is a vanilla mechanic. That's pure vanilla. That is nothing to do with any mods or add-ons. I don't know if it was... It might have been added in one of the other versions. Like, I don't think it was. it's always been a core mechanic, but it might be. But I, I, if I had to take a guess, I would say that maybe it was added in the 1.8 update, because that's the one where they, um... That light looked uh, suspicious there for a second. Um, but no, that's the one where they changed the way that combat works, so they might have added it then, but it is a vanilla mechanic.
And we survey the twisted landscape of the end and see nothing. So we will now go this way. So delight. Get our bridge. Oh, did I did I instant mine that too hard? There we go. That's a vanilla mechanic that I wish somebody would be able to fix. Sometimes the ghost blocking, hate that. Ghost blocking is when a you instant mine a block so fast. Or the server was like lagging for a second when you mined it. Sunstone, I don't think I have any of that. Um, and the block looks like it's mined on your screen, but it's actually not. And so you'll get held up. You won't be able to progress the direction that you're trying to walk because there is, according to the game, a physical block there to stop you. Aww, a giant slime. Get out of here. See, with these things, I actually don't need to jump, because my normal hits are just strong enough. I think I can kill Enderman, too, honestly, but... Whatever, it's just one of those habits that's, like, kind of ingrained in me. Now, it does a, it does use more of your hunger and stuff, because obviously, you know, you're jumping. And, you know, I'm running, so usually that's happening, too. So you're definitely using up more of your hunger and saturation to pull off those uh, critical strikes, but... I mean, it's worth it. Like, the damage bonus you get from it. Sunstone, yeah, I didn't have any of that. Let's see, this one I've only got... I've got less than one stack of. Hold on, can I just... Can I just do that? Right-click to add. I am right-clicking. Shift-right-click? Click? Right-click? Right-click? Right, right Maybe I'll right-click with that. I click that? Okay, that's not working. Well, whatever. We'll just put it in our backpack. Huh. Hua. With all the other ores. Kunzite. I think I already have that, but it doesn't really hurt me, though. F, it's a fat. Come on. I can't express how little I care about your slimes. Compact coral. Coral. The death of you slimes is meaningless. You're not even a proper stepping stone on the way to my victory. It is really a pretty twisted landscape. I mean, when you think about it, there's there really is like nothing here. That that's what I want. And the rest of it I'll just tear it down. Ooh, another in city. Come on now, have a boat. I'm gonna keep my eyes down. I got my fingers crossed. Give me a boat. Oh, it's a big one! Higher chance of boat! Finally! You know what? Instead of doing this, let's let's do this intelligently, right? 
So the boat, the boat has an elytra, which is the glider that they added back in 1.8 Minecraft, I think. And specifically, I want one because it's how you get uh, flight in this pack. How does this work? Can I just... Okay, I can just fly now. With that orb. Although it was consumed, so it is a temporary thing. I can't fly a long time. So I better just quickly mine off this dragon head. I don't know how long this flight is going to last. I'd imagine about a minute. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, so we're going to need to carry some of this stuff. Let's get that shulker box back out. Put in. What to put in? Well, obviously the elytra, the brewing stand, the two potions I picked up, the dragon head. The shulker shells I want to keep on me for a second. I can put away these two chests in my normal backpack. And then in my big backpack, that's where I'm throwing all these like random weird items. But I, I don't know really what to do with. Throw that in there, the ender pearls, the ender fragments. Purper blocks, I didn't even mean to mine that. Craziness. Chorus flowers, chorus fruit. Okay. And we also got some of this junk. So, an iron sword enchanted with indestructible and disjunction 3. I wish that... So, I found out for sure that indestructible enchantment, not not working in the current version. So, that's why mine was just going ahead and, and breaking, even though I had that on it. Very unfortunate. Okay. Put that down, and then just go ahead and grab this, and we're going to put it all in there, except for the chest. Use. And then we'll put this one down, because that one's about to fill up. And do the same thing here. Hey, cool, I also got some diamond horse armor. Which is about to not matter at all, but I'm still happy to see it. Put these boots in here, too. Alright, so that's it. So after we loot this end city, we can go back and we can unlock flight in this pack. I'm so happy! Oh, these are, these are mine things. Okay. And you know what? Who doesn't want some free obsidian, too? Am I right? Let's go ahead and get... Ooh, I took the boat down also. That's not what I meant to do. Am I still flying? Oh, I'm still flying. Okay. Well, let's land on the top here and just kind of work our way in. Makes me wonder how long that thing is going to last, though. Because it seems to be lasting for quite some time. But I'm, I'm trying to hang around structures because I don't know how long it's going to last. And I don't want to be hovering over the end void or something and then it, it goes down and then I'm just... I'm just screwed. The boat got wrecked. Look at that hole underneath there. <sighs> Alright. Shulkers think they can do anything to me. I'm already flying. What else could you do, Shulkers? Also, Soda, because I think you haven't you haven't played like any of the more recent versions of Minecraft, right? You've been playing older stuff. Like, have you even seen an in-city before? I'm not just like straight up calling you out on that. Do not feel like I called you out, my good man. There we go. We'll put up these purple blocks too, because I didn't even mean to mine them in the first place. Alright, and then that's one more chest, and we got ourselves another ender chest. Which is always good. 
It is good to have ender chests. Faux show. So man, you didn't you haven't even fought the Ender Dragon maybe ever? Craziness. Oh, I'm still flying. So the flight in this does last a while, apparently. So it's been several minutes for sure. Oh! 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 I need some coffee. <sighs> I felt. I think my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I'm just. I really wasn't ready for that. Okay, so now we have to go up the boring way. I mean, boring. It's a platforming puzzle, so that's actually kind of fun and novel and something that you don't see very, very often. Uh, come on, let me... Can I go? Can I go up to this? Well, I guess I should finish this tower first, and then I'll worry about the next one. Okay. Ah! Platforming. Minecraft. It's the perfect combination of things that should have always been together. Oh, there's like literally a lip there. So that's why it didn't work for me. I was like, I'm really, I'm not that bad at platforming. What's going on? I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm a master at it. But come on. I guess I could take their banners too. Just to feel like, like I really conquered them. I showed these ender Ender baddies that I was the top dog around here. I'm gonna take your banners and never display them in the overworld because they're hideous. But they're mine now. Okay. In lots. See me be spiteful that Enderman? Oh, I didn't. Which, inside a building, them hitting me with their levitate attack is not that big a deal. Outside of a building, it is kind of annoying. Oh, I cannot sling enough praise at Techno Axe for the music. Let's do this jumping puzzle again. Get up into one of the higher towers. Oh no! Outside of the tower. I mean, I did get. Oh no! 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 Yep! 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 Unless I can go up to the next level. Oh, okay. I mean, obviously this is dangerous stuff that we're doing. We're in a dimension full of hostility, and also there are things that are literally shooting levitation balls at us, so, I mean... Oh. And you can... So those things, like, before, I have been able to, like, knock them away. But I'm just not having any luck with it right now. Like, you can hit them and kill those little balls that they fire at you. It's just not working for me right now for some reason. Hey, I'm inside the building now. What's up, guys? How's it going? See? That one. I killed that one. chest. Which, I mean, like, that's just free obsidian harvesting, basically. 
And then we got this stuff. Let's switch one of our shark boxes is more empty. Put those banners in there. Dragon scale. Wonder what that's used for. See, that's the other thing about doing stuff like this. Whenever you're gonna find uh, like dungeon tiles and junk like that, you're gonna go do uh, you know any kind of like the normal Minecraft dungeons that have the dungeon loot inserted in them. A lot of the mods will add their their own little things to the dungeon loot table, and so you'll also find a whole bunch of stuff that you're like, I have no idea what this does. And so then you get to take it back home and experiment with it. I got a shulker head. Maybe, maybe if they think I'm one of them. Do you think? Maybe they wouldn't fire at me. Hmm? Do you think that? <laughs> that looks so stupid. Okay, we're gonna try it out though. They're definitely still firing at me. <laughs> oh, and it knocked me out of the building. Coolness. <laughs> Wearing the skin of my enemies. Yes, absolutely. They had it coming. They had it coming. Yeah, take that. Yeah hit the lip again. That's so weird. Like, I don't remember that lip being there in the top of these, because normally it's just it's a pretty straightforward jumping puzzle. If you're not terrible at it like I am. Okay, so let's pull that back off, since obviously that plan didn't work. We'll just put it in there. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I need to go to the very, very tip top of this tower because I think it only has the things that I've killed like it was would be populated by that shulker that I just murdered and that's it I think that's the only thing that's up there <sighs> so we'll just go up to this little side platform so we can go to the next tower. Oh yeah. Although, again, I'll have to... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that one's just got the shulker that I killed in it. I don't need to go all the way up there. Although this is the one that kind of tells you there's the boat there. So I guess I really didn't need to go here either. So let's loot these end rods. Move on to the next tower. Was there a way out at that level? I don't think there was, whatever. Honestly, we've got another one of those floaty orbs, right? And let's just eat it. Like, I'm about to have normal flight, so it's not gonna matter that I have to, I have this thing that I could save that would give me, like, even more flight than I'm, so I'm already, I'm about to get this same style flight, but usable all the time. Like, that was the whole reason I came to the end, to do this. Okay. That's the tower I finished. Let's go over here. See how much of a difference this makes? <laughs> Just having flight. Ugh. I have so much, so much respect for people that do this type of thing in vanilla. Because it would be really dangerous, and it would take forever, and I don't really have that patience. Yep, how's that feel? Ah, uh, no treasure in this one. Let's hit down. We'll get the end rods off of this while we're here. Hi. Hmm, that one still has a shulker on it. 
But has no treasure also. I think... I want to say that I actually need these in rods for something. There's some reason I needed them, but I don't remember what it was. So I'm just trying to grab up a lot of them so that way I won't have to come back for them. I'm just really, I'm really stoked that I have, I'm about to get flight though. Because <laughs> that's going to make all the building and everything else that I'm trying to do go so much easier. For obvious reasons. And fly. Oh, uh, this, I've already been in this one. I just didn't get the end rods on the outside because I wasn't flying. Okay, I think we're done. Like, I don't think, I don't, I'm not hearing any shulkers going off anymore, so that makes me think that I'm done. Because the shulkers, they would still be attacking if I hadn't, oop. I hear one. Ah, hiding underneath. You thought you were safe, but I can fly. No, definitely for decoration, 100%. Inrods are beautiful, and they make great lights. Like, very easy light source to put together. And if you put them, like, on opposing ends, they actually look kind of like tube lights. So, I mean, like, there's a lot of stuff you can use them for. There is a shulker in here somewhere. I hear it. It must die. Unless it was down lower? Or maybe it's on the outside of this building? Aha. You must die. Okay, so let's... We'll head back to our death, because that's going to be... Mm -hmm. Take off. this is where I get myself killed. Because I'm going to be like, yeah, I can fly out over this void. And that's where you'd be wrong. Because I'm, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I lied. I'm going to do that. In very small bursts. Mostly I'm going to stick to the land. But see, look at how much faster this is going. Just by virtue of me being able to fly. Ah, see, it ran out. Okay. So let's eat another one. Because, <laughs> again, the impatience. Mm -hmm. And this one, I just ate, so I know it's good for a while. So let's just, let's just do it. Oh, if I do die here, it will be roughly impossible to regain my stuff. like that. Alright, so let's get... I mean, I could fish through my stuff for an enderpearl, or I could just kill an enderman real quick. And... There we go. And now we can go home. 
Oh, we finished Minecraft, guys. It's over. That's the end. We don't have to do anything else. Uh, good game. Good game. I'm glad everybody... Glad everybody... Uh... No, I'm joking. Obviously. <laughs> Alright, so let's sleep. There we go. Okay. So now let's get this... Get this ring. Angel ring. So you can see, this is why we needed to get an elytra. Because this is how expensive this is. They definitely made it hard to do in this pack. Which one has it? This one. Give it to me. And see, they were also wise when they were doing the Project E stuff. No, uh... No EMC on this elytra, you might notice. So... Can't be, can't be duplicated. So you have to go and hunt those down. But I do need a lot of diamonds for that. But I think, yeah, I do have them now. Because I didn't for a long time. I was very diamond poor for a very long time. Four blocks, right? Yep, and four regular ones. So I should have that now. Oh, Ooh, diamond ring. Okay, we're halfway there. Does diamond ring do anything? It doesn't look like it. Very appropriate music too, right? This feels like powering up music. Four blocks of gold, two blaze rods, and two feathers. Blaze. Two of those. Two feathers. Four blocks of gold, which I think I have over here in my processing area. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right. And then let's put it on. And ring slot. Hmm? It's not going on. There we go. Now it's on in the... There's literally an angel ring slot. Ah, uh, yes. <sighs> Did it give us wings? No. Okay, so this is the wingless version. Oh, that feels so good. Mm. We can get this perfect picture of the terrain around us. Stare up at the sun. I am now a creature of the skies. So folks, that feels like a good point to stop. So I'm going to end the stream here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the journey with me through the end. We had a couple of hard stopping moments there, didn't we? But we made it, and now we can fly. So it won't be as big a problem next time. Please follow me on all the social sites that you can go to. I'm on Twitter, YouTube, I'm on Twitch, and I'm also on Facebook, all under the same name. So follow me there and you'll learn when the next stream is. Um, this video will be posted to YouTube either tomorrow or maybe in a couple of days. It just depends on how long it takes me to upload it and get it going. And guys, we'll see you next time. I'm really glad you came out. Thank you for being here with me. And you have yourself a fantastic evening.